Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to derive the equilibrium equation for the confined type of aquifers. So let's start. So first of all, what is a confined aquifer that we have already dealt with? That means a geological formation which is consisting of water but is sandwiched between the impervious strata from both the sides. So this is the impervious stratum on both the sides of the geological formation which is holding the water. Now since it is not exposed to the free surface or now as the water is available between the two impervious strata it is not exposed to the atmosphere or is not having any free surface because of which the water is always under the pressure and also the space that it is occupying is like this so if you insert the piezometer at any point so you will be having so if let's say this is the flow which is taking place if you insert the piezometric tube in it then the level up to which the water will be rising in this piezometric tube that denotes the piezometric head so if that is changing that is representing the loss in the energy so if we are pumping out the water from the confined aquifer with the help of the wells then obviously the water level should fall here but because of the two impervious strata the water will be flowing under the pressure and the speed with which it will be flowing in this case that will be higher because the water is always under the constant pressure in case of the confined aquifers so at any point if you insert the piezometer you would be having different piezometric head and the line which is connecting all of the piezometric head that known as the piezometric surface. So in case of the confined aquifer the actual water level within the confined aquifer that will always be the same because that will be touching the both the impervious strata but what will be acquiring the cone of depression is the piezometric surface now as you can see here in this case the velocity distribution they is already horizontal all the velocity components they are radial and horizontal actually therefore we do not need to assume anything like that as we were doing in the case of unconfined aquifer but rest of the assumption that will remain the same and they also hold good in this case that is the strata or the formation should be homogeneous that means the property at all the points that is same and isotropic that means at a single point in all the direction it has to be the same now for the analysis purpose this is the main well and this is the confined aquifer having the thickness h having the thickness h while the total depth of the water table that is denoted by a capital d so there is a difference in that along with the main pumped well we are again inserting the two observation wells that is 1 and 2 at a radius r1 and r2 corresponding to them the drawdown is s1 and s2 that is represented in the piezometric surface not the actual one and both the sides are impervious that means the water cannot seep out of this now again we need to derive the relation for the discharge out of this well so at any radial distance r let's say we are assuming this is the radial distance 
r so at any point this will be the piezometric head h which is represented here so the velocity of flow that is vr that will be again given as k into dh over dr where k is the permeability and dh upon dr is the hydraulic gradient that is the head available to the distance which it has to travel now this velocity that we are obtaining under the again equilibrium condition will be the same as to the radial flow and this radial flow that will be obtained within this area of the cylinder only so what we will be doing in this case the area of the cylinder that will be equal to the 2 pi r and that is let's say we are denoting it with small r now here the height will be taken corresponding to the height of the confined aquifer and not the 2 pi r and capital D that should be kept in mind so therefore the discharge is, is equal to the area into the flow so discharge will be equal to the 2 pi r into h into the velocity of flow that is k into dh over dr Again here it will be Q upon this is constant that is 2 pi k h dr upon r that is is equal to dh. Now we will integrate both the sides since for the observation well we can see that this piezometric surface that is having the different piezometric head corresponding to radius r1 it is h1 and corresponding to r2 it is h2 so it is varying from r1 to r2 and the piezometric head that is varying from h1 to h2 so it will be q upon 2 pi k h this is ln r limits from r1 to r2 and this will be h limits from h1 to h2 therefore the final relationship that we will be getting that is 2 pi k h ln r2 minus ln r1 is equal to h2 minus h1 now to simplify this we will get q upon 2 pi k h ln this can be written as r2 upon r1 and this will be h2 minus h1 so this q is written as 2 pi k h into h2 minus h1 upon ln r2 upon r1 this is the one relation that we get for the confined aquifer this is the equilibrium equation for the steady flow in a confined aquifer this is the equilibrium equation for steady flow that means the properties are not changing as the time progresses and this is popularly known as the themes equation so that is also written as q is equal to 2 pi k h h2 minus h1 upon this will be log base 10 so 2.303 log base 10 r2 upon r1 this can also be written in this form so at the edge of the zone of influence at the edge of the zone of influence the drawdown that we will be having that is zero so the drawdown is zero at 
radius is equal to r and height of the piezometer that will be equal to capital D. So q will be equal to 2 pi k h into h2 minus h1. So this will be saturation drawdown divided by ln capital R upon the saturation R. This can also be written in this form. How we are deriving this that we will see in the next video because this is based upon the assumption of the topic. So that we will study in the next one. Thank you.